Stop making plans right now. Yes, you heard me correctly. Stop making plans. All the things that you have in order, all the information you've collected, gathering resources and thinking about how you're going to execute on this one goal, you need to stop all that because all it's, all it's doing is separating your time from thinking and creating action. A lot of you all are great plan makers, but you're not great action takers, all right? This is the New Level Podcast, number one podcast for entrepreneurs and ambitious people who want more out of life. Jumping in straight into it. The reason why it's so important to stop making plans, guys, is because people who make plans don't require any skill. It doesn't require any type of practice, anything that's actually going to help you elevate in life. Okay, we can think about how we want to execute or what resources or tools we need in order to be successful. But the truth is, success and people who accomplish their goals are actually people who don't make the best plans, but make the best actions. And along your journey, whether that's in your fitness or your nutrition or your mindset or your self-confidence, you got to realize what's best for you. Not everything is going to work for everybody. And my students know that. My students know that, hey, their program is meant for them. I know that, hey, my life journey is meant for me. You know that your life journey, or hopefully you know your life journey, is meant for you. You're not supposed to go through the same thing your parents went through and you learn everything and then like you just be a duplicate. There'd be no point for you to be different or to be born, honestly, because if you're the same as somebody identically, what's the point of you even existing? All you need is one of you. Okay, and so when we think about plans and how we need to make everything in line, line all our ducks up just to execute on the plan, there's somebody right now who wants the same thing as you who's actually executing on those actions, not a plan, because plans you stay stationary in, plans you look from a third person view, you don't actually, you're not actually in the field. Okay, so in order to become the best at what you do, in order to become the most successful, the most accomplished in what you do, in order to see the most results that you want out of life, you have to apply action. If it's one thing from this podcast I can tell y'all is that action trumps all. You don't have to be perfect. As a matter of fact, you can mess up your first, second, third, fourth, or hundredth time. I still stumble sometimes on these podcasts, but I'm not going to cut it out. Why? Because I'm human and I bleed. I bleed too. Okay, so... You all need to know that you don't need to be perfect. You don't need to have or feel confidence that things are going to be perfect because what's going to happen is in any journey you go in, you're going to start it thinking that you're perfect and then you're going to elevate and you're going to get better. Hopefully you'll get better. Hopefully you'll stay, stay consistent enough in your journey to get better. And once you get better, you'll look at your old self on those perfect plans you made and you'll realize how imperfect it was. And so you can never escape making things imperfect. So people who make plans, people who like to cite every little detail out instead of executing on the action, those are the type of people who don't reach their goals in enough time. There are people who are lazy as hell. There's people who work on their goals and they never reach all of their goals. And then there's people who reach all of their goals. The ones that hurt the most are the people who put in the work, the blood, sweat in years and actually never acquire the accomplishments that they desire. Straight up. And so if we need to if we need to look at our own lives and be honest with ourselves right now, are you creating a plan to start on New Year's? Are you creating a plan to start next week? Have you created plans in your past this year on creating a plan towards something or a goal that you wanted to accomplish and it didn't get accomplished? The reason why most people don't reach their goals is not because they're not good enough. It's because they're not doing enough of the right thing. And when you plan things, you're not making action. You're not really learning what's right or wrong. That's why it's so valuable to have a coach. And it doesn't have to be me, but it's so valuable to have a coach. It's so valuable to have a mentor because those type of people can uplift you and just direct you on a plan they've created for you, whether that's your fitness journey or becoming financially free or having actual confidence with your mindset or actually becoming consistent and being resilient to your problems in life. Those type of people know how to get you there that much faster because that not because they made the best plan it's because they went through the most BS, the most steps to actually get there. And so they can tell you straight up, this is what you need to do. One, two, three, four, five. That's what you need to do. This is the situation you're in. This is how you get out. This is how you reach your goal. 
But a lot of you all plan everything. You're, 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 if you're in college, you know what a student advisor is. They, they plan everything. They map out your four-year your four year route, right? So you know what you're going to get at the end of your degree. Life doesn't work like that. You're not going to plan everything out and then be like, yeah, that's how I'm going to get here. Hell no. Nah. There's going to be some things that's going to throw some punches at you. And that's exactly why people quit because they didn't plan on it to happen. So your plan doesn't create value. Your plan doesn't do anything for you besides make you think that you know what you're doing when you've never done it. And then you, you fail or you get punched by life and you fail. Not because you got hit by life, but because you quit once you got hit. Plans are not valuable. Action is. All right. This is the New Level Podcast, the number one podcast for entrepreneurs and ambitious people who want more out of life. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening to this podcast on any podcast platform, make sure you leave a review down below if this podcast episode gave you value. If you're watching this on Facebook Live, my Ask You Fitness family and my Instagram family, I appreciate all the support. Everybody tapping in. And if you do want to be inter- if you are interested in joining the wait list for 2023 on my program right now, spots are filled out. I'm not taking any more people, so don't DM me. Don't ask me. 2023, we're on a wait list. If you would be interested in using me as a coach and using my tools as a resource for you to reach your goals and become consistent and actually grow confidence in your body, shoot me a DM at Ask You Fitness on Instagram. It's all love. Peace, fam. Happy Friday. I'll see y'all next week.